Hello, this is Ian Michael. Oh, look at me here. Okay, this is Ian Michael, and um, what we have here, what we have right here is the working now example of NEHE20. This was a major foobar, and it had Kazard and Tapen, and a lot of people looking at and thinking Blistos was broken, and the PVR and the tile uh, accelerator, including the scamp as well. But what it turned out to be, or what I think it turned out to be, was that blending was enabled when it initialized. And so you were sending an empty um, TR or OP list, and that was what was corrupting it. So as we see here, we can go behind, and we can go in front. As you can see there, that is working correctly. So getting back to the dev side, I think uh, something uh, Black Aurora told me a long time ago is that you cannot uh, enable blending before you send a list. So I think this, what was happening here was it was uh, enable blending before the texture had been sent to the PVR. That's what I think it is. So what I did was I disabled blending in the initialization of OpenGL and then I enabled it again in the draw scene and then everything started working. Uh, as you can see here. So, as you can see here, it is now working correctly. So, a bit of a dev update. This is for SDL DreamHAL OpenGL or SDL DreamHAL GLDC. Now, um, I've been suffering a lot of really, really bad headaches. Um, very bad. Um, where I, I didn't even think I could do any coding whatsoever. So I've pushed through that today and somehow come up with the answer to this problem that's been going on for about a month with this example. So it's now working correctly as you can see. Perfectly working on hardware. It always worked on DMUL and as Scamp, the creator of Null DC and Rightcast explained to me, Dreamcast Eliminators do not generate tile lists. They siphon the graphics straight to OpenGL or DirectX. So uh, if you have any problems in blending or lists or sort order, the Dreamcast eliminators including Rycast, uh, DMUL, Null DC, Redream, Blycast, they will not show up your issue with PBR related issues like this. Anyway, as you can see, you can see how it goes behind and you've got the layer in front. You got see how it is on top of the layer and transparent. You can see how the it's you can see the layer behind there and the mask on top. So you've got with mask, without mask, and then the other mask on top, and then without mask. So I'd also like to thank everyone that supports me on Patreon, and I'll be giving a, a shout out or a um, a stream, so all my patrons can come and talk to me and ask me questions about development as if the headaches ever stop anyway um, this has been a dev demonstration I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in a future video farewell